Please get ready for a dictation of extracts from a handbook of select essays on environment and science by Drishti Publications. Five seconds. Start. The Paris Agreement has laid down the roadmap to combat climate change and one of the significant pathways to it is through adopting clean technologies, especially for India, which is the fourth largest emitter of CO2. Only after China, the US and the EU, there is an urgent need to cut emissions. Apart from working towards cutting emissions for preventing climate change, we need to also work towards making the country resilient to climate change which is already creating a lot of challenges for us in every front. This implies that we need to create better forecasting patterns and better preparedness to tackle various fallouts of climate change through measures like flood management, drought management, forest management, water resource management, biodiversity conservation, energy management and lifestyle management. One of the gravest consequences of climate change is the abruption in rainfall patterns due to increase in the temperatures. For instance, the massive floods of Kerala in 2018 were very much anticipated by abnormal increase in the temperature of the water of the Arabian Sea, but because of inadequate flood management, the loss of lives and property was huge. Similarly, the need for flood management has also been felt in the arid areas of Rajasthan, where even small amounts of rain is seen to create a flood-like situations. With increasing uncertainty of rainfall patterns, such instances are going to become more frequent. One of the very promising technologies in flood control is the flood gate technology used extensively in the European countries, particularly the Netherlands, England and also Japan. Science is the system of inquiry wherein we provide rational and logical explanations of events occurring around us. Technology is the application of science for practical purposes. Inclusive, faster and sustainable growth and security of the nation is sign qua non for nation building. The innovations in the scientific knowledge and technological prowess form the bedrock of the developmental path of a society. While working on electromagnetic waves, it was discovered X-ray, the use of which in medical sciences spread like wildfire. Today, millions are getting the benefits of X-ray as an excellent tool of healthcare. Science and Technology Vision 2035 of India delineates the role of technology in the economic growth of the nation. Technology can transform each sector of the economy and make India a center of global growth. Science and technology help in the upliftment of Indian agriculture. It was high yielding varieties of seeds, irrigation facilities and other technologies, the adoption of which made India sufficient in food production. A mix of technological interventions in the farm sector can help achieve good growth rate in this sector, thereby ensuring food security. Drip irrigation, sprinklers, watershed management, etc. are being used to increase the water use efficiency. Drought resistant seeds can save us during El Nino years. Crop surveys through satellite imagery and drones can help in the better implementation of the Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana.
Scientific techniques can be used to ensure water security and also fight against the fallout of climate change. Water desalination technologies can be used to provide safe drinking water in coastal areas where salt water intrusion has happened in groundwater. The world has been changing at an unprecedented rate in the last few decades. Though advancements in technology are inevitable, the rapid rate at which this is happening is unheard of. The reason for these fast-paced changes is the proliferation of the internet. The increasing number of computers, mobile sets that are connected to each other through internet has revolutionized the way we are living. It has impacted every part of human life, the way humans interact with each other, the way humans interact with machines, communication, government people interface, financial transactions, and direction of market economy. Along with developing new dimensions and capabilities, cyber world has also provided new challenges. The major challenges include cyber security, privacy concerns, net neutrality, bridging digital divide, etc. Cyber world has been instrumental in accelerating the pace of globalization like never before. The concept of global village, one world interconnected by an electronic nervous system, has taken wings because of the internet. Instant messaging, broadcasting, streaming and other communication tools provided by internet have facilitated the free flow of information. This free flow of information has led to change of ideas, ideologies, culture, technologies and so on. This has also led to online money transactions, thus removing barriers for free flow of capital too. Free flow of information and capital has changed the way businesses are being done throughout the world. Outsourcing has become the norm. Brick and mortar markets have become a pass as e-markets are flourishing. Innovative app-based business models like Uber have increased their footprints. The introduction of cryptocurrency, digital currency, has the potential to enable more secure transactions in future. With successive governments, India's foreign policy framework has witnessed a sea change. Global geopolitical dynamics evolving bilateral relations and erstwhile national aspirations have been the major determinants of India's foreign policy from time to time. Foreign policy decisions such as India's participation in the non-alignment movement, Gujral doctrine and Look East policy have played a key role in shaping the nation's history and strengthening India's international standing and the local economy. They have also proved that a clear foreign policy framework plays a key role in ensuring countries' progress on multiple fronts. Thus, chalking out India's foreign policy framework at a time when India is standing on the cusp of becoming a global power is crucial. India has always been known to use its soft power to achieve its interests and substantiate its standing on the world stage. While it has served the country's purpose well on many occasions, it has also been perceived as a weakness by many critics who suggest a move towards a hawkish foreign policy framework. Though India's foreign policy framework has always been a much debated and discussed issue among the country's political and intellectual class, it has attracted all the more limelight in the last few years due to a number of reasons, including India's endeavor 
to join some of the prestigious multinational forums. Stop.